Hey what's up guys VFX showdown here and welcome back to another very exciting after effect tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to show you the blackbird tracking car. So as you see in my latest video it is actually the breakdown something. So so this will be the this is not a full tutorial like we did in past so we just show you the quick overview how I track and add a car so this is the only the car composition and if we switch you can see this is the full version so as you see pretty nice and if I remove the car recomposition you can see this is the actual blackbird car rig so let me quickly talk about this car first of all so this car is made by the company called mill so this is the actual blackbird car so we track and replace the car body so as you see the lot of tracking point because this car actually made for tracking and generating the cg car on top of that and i will give you the link of this video in the description down below so you can check the full video and this is just a one second clip so as you see boom just simply one second and we're going to show you how i track and replace the element 3d car basically the element 3d render so let me quickly jump into the buju and show you the actual track so first let me show you the track points as you see we just shy the trackers so if i enable and quickly select all of them and disable the car rig now you can see the all the tracking points so i just choose this top and the left and right side and some front tracking points as you see so let me hide so let me show you the buju what i did and we're going to tell how i did this full effect step by step all right so here is the buju and as you see we already tracked the car but i will show you how i did this so first if you if you have a buju and if you don't have you can get buju free trials so if you open the buju let me it's something look like this so let me quickly walk through the interface and then we can import the footage and track so as you see this is a toolbox here is the all the magic happen and this one is the timeline and this is the viewport so first i want a jpeg sequence to import in the buju so go back into the after effect and quickly render out this clip in jpeg sequence and after that jump into the buju and as you see the first tool is the called import sequence click on it and navigate your jpeg sequence file and first make sure to the frame rate is match to the actual sources and then you can click apply and then close and as you see we have the jpeg sequence in the buju so i need to track so as you see in the tool like we did in the after effect we add a mask so this is what you're going to do here mask out this car and let me quickly as you see click on this tool and simply mask out this car and move forward few frames and then move this mask like that So as you see we perfectly isolate the car and now all I need to do we just right click on the mask and invert the mask so we can see the car and then here is the button called track features click on the track features and go into the advance and the sensitivity all the way up full and click on start and then it will track the all the points and then we can camera solve this. so as you see the track feature is done and if if you want to remove this mask you can see the overlay window if you don't have you can go up to view and find the overlay 
if you uncheck the mask you can see the mask is on but the track feature is turn it to work and then we need to solve this so as you see the button called camera solve as you click on the camera solve and make sure the optimized camera path smoothness is check and then start camera solve and then as you see the we have a lot of track points and then i want to import this track point and the camera into the after effects so first select the tracking points so if i go into the 3d view as you see now we are in the 2d view if you toggle the 3d and press and hold the shift key you can see we have a 3d car and we can move around and see the track point so as you see this is the front three panels let me show you these three in the 3d view so we want to export this tracking data and tracking points some of the points because there are a lot of points we don't want all of them so we're going to choose uh, some of the point and just simply click on one of the point and right click on it and flag to export and then move forward and this front panel click on the right click flag to export and one more over here maybe the middle one right click flag to export and this side maybe this one click uh, right click flag to export okay so then we going to export this one so as you see the export tab click on the export and simply click on the export camera saw and this one as you see we have the sequence and the camera saw one because as you see this is the camera saw one and export type we want after effect maya as you see the after effect maya we only want the flag a tracking points so make sure to select the export flag a track only scale of the nulls maybe 1000 and then choose the location area and simply save so now buju world is done so jump back into the after effect and and simply double click on it and so as you see the my one is called the buju track refine and if you open it so as you see the buju track refine and if i double click you will see the all selected tracking nulls and the camera as you see this is pretty good and if i select the camera press u you can see the all the keyframes and then we simply select all this and go into the edit and just copy we have all these tracking tracking nulls and the camera in my after effect composition so the tracking is done so now we need a 3d car so we search in the google and i found this car let me jump into the element 3d so as you see this is the car so as you see this is the car and this is pretty good and it is free model i will give you the link in the video description where i found this car so this is the chevrolet and if i open it you can see the materials and go into the mesh view you can see the single mesh but there are a lot of materials so we just simply disable the tires because you don't want the tires and and this is done and then we click on ok so now we have all the details of the camera movement and the tracking details and the track points also so now if i go back to the element 3d and in the group one because our model in the group one we just open it and go into the group utility and the create group nulls and we basically the create the null for this model and as you see this is the null so basically what i did in this null we just go here and show you we grab the tracked null this one the side one and press p and simply copy this position and go into this null and simply paste so that way we have a perfect position in 3d space where is this car actually here and the all the camera movement so that's how we basically do this and then here we need a environment map basically this one so this is the environment of the car so what i did we just 
copy the footage and paste it here and pre-compose and then we jump into the element 3d go into the render setting as you see the physical environment open it and we just simply add it here and play some setting if i enable you can see and you just playing the exposure and the gamma to match the perfect environment and then we need a reflection so jump into the element 3d as you see we need a reflection so we just control and click on this body so you can see that this is the body material and it just uh, decreases the glossiness and speculation all the way 300 and the reflective colors as you see reflective and refraction all the way 100% intensity so as you see we have pretty good reflection and refraction both and the speculation as you see the speculation highlight so this is my 3d car and then basically what i did here we just add a fast blur the the match grain and the noise and the cc force motion blur because the after effect and the element 3d have a motion blur but it take a uh, too much time to render because my pc is not that much powerful so that's why we use cc force motion blur and it is work perfectly good as i want so as you see now we are in the preview and let me quickly show you the shadow so go into the element 3d first and as you see we have a plane and we just open it and select the material go into the setting and as you see we just check the matte shadow so and then we basically create a light in the footage you can see let me isolate in the footage you can see the light coming from this direction so as you see the shadow so i want a same light direction so i basically create the parallel light and as you see the intensity and the color is little bit warm and the shadow fallout distance 2000 and the shadow darkness 100 percent and then we just reposition in the frame and then go into the element 3d go into the render setting and then as you see the where is and we also enable the ambient occlusion and go into the shadow and we choose the ray trace and enable that's how you get the shadow perfect and as you see we just keyframing the shadow because in the footage let me show you again shadow color is changing so as you see in this frame it is brighter and as you see now it is darker and as you see now it is brighter so that's why we just keyframing the the shadow color so this is this one is and then as you see we are and as you see the car is too much sharp as you see the footage is blur so that's why we add a fast blur matte green and the noise and some color correction and then we have this perfect cars so lastly i want to tell you about the the tires so as you see there is no tires and this composition if i enable the car rig and hide that null so as you see we just duplicate the footage and call this uh, tires oh the spelling mistake sorry and uh, basically what i did we just press if i press you you can see the all the mask and we basically the isolate all the tires put this layer above of the car recomposition as you see this one on top so that's how i did the tires so it look like a awesome 3d car render right inside of after effect with the help of element 3d and some techniques and finally in my final composition we add the lens blur and the color correction so it look like a nice but uh, my point is i just show you what you can do in the after effect with some techniques so you can actually make a cg car in live action foot live action footage if you have this type of tracking tool something so this is the quick tutorial and hopefully you understand if you don't so you can grab the free project file of this of this composition so i will give you the link in the video description so you can download and play around so guys thank you for watching if you have any question leave in the comment down below and we will see you in a way next one have a great day